Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over two more subscribers' teams, give them some team advice, and it's going to be Zeman Steel and Big Dave, and essentially, we're going to go over Zeman's team first, and we'll go over Big Dave's team, and we'll put their team and my team suggestions side by side, kind of let them know what we are going to do with team advice. Let's get into it. First up, we're going to do Zeman Steel, and essentially, he just gave me a team that's relatively blank told me at about 500,000 coins and that he plays squad battles and rivals and can use some of those gold players to get his hut icons, which is why he has these four guys. Well, actually, five guys untradeable. And then he has Vasilevsky down here as another untradeable card. So with 500,000 coins, I'm going to try to build him a team around this, get him at least distributor and hopefully some player synergies as well. As you can see, the cards he does have is Temu Solani, Mario Lemieux, Guy Lafleur, Eric Gustafsson, Peter Forsberg, Alexander Nylander, and Dennis Potvin, and then Andre Vasilevsky as his goaltender. So let's see what we can do for him. As always in these reviews, his team is on the right. My suggestions are on the left. And as you guys can see, he doesn't have too much of a team filled out, but he does have at least a very good first line. I'm not sure if that's how he wants to configure the first line, but we're going to keep Solani, Lemieux, and Lafleur on the first line together. On defense, we'll take Eric Gustafson, move him over to the first right defense, and then get Jeff Petrie's Dynamic Duo Volume 2 that has Speedster. I think it's a relatively good budget defenseman. We're trying to keep this team under 500,000 coins, as I've already mentioned. We want to make sure we stay within that budget. It'll probably be a lot less than that, maybe only a little bit less than that. I don't know the price difference between PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so it kind of just depends what the price differences are and stuff like that. But we're looking at the Alex Nylander. We're going to get him over at the left wing. Keep Peter Forsberg at the second center. Then get Logan Couture's primetime card with Howitzer. Now, just Howitzer and Speedster activated. On the right wing, he's actually a pretty good card. He has 87 acceleration, 92 agility, 93 speed. And then his shot's not the best, but it's definitely above average. Decent defense awareness, 87 stick checking. Has good passing and puck control with that distributor. I think it's a relatively decent budget card. Then in the second defensive pair, we're going to go with Inaka Baragano. And Dennis Potvin. The reason we're putting Baragano here with Potvin is you can get him at the 92 speed. You want someone that's a little bit faster because Dennis Potvin is not a fast skater, as we'll pop in right here and look at. Only going to give you 85 speed. So you're going to have to get somebody that can skate very well with him that's in a budget price range. And that's what that Baragano does. On the third line here, we got a blank slate. So we're just going to go what, what my recommendations are to kind of build it up to get distributor, get speed, or get howitzer. Get this Matthew Barzell team of the week 85 overall. Build up this Sean Couturier, at least to 85. If you can get him higher, get him higher. Then Eric Daze. I mentioned the Daze in my budget video. I think he's still amazing for a budget card. I'm sure he's under 10K now. Just looking at his attributes with just Speedster and Distributor activated. He gets up to 89 speed, but he's also six foot six, and he has a wicked wrist shot, a pretty hard slap shot, and he actually has decent stick checking and defensive awareness. He has acceleration and agility. He's low, but you use him as a big body, and he's going to be flying around with Barzell and Couturier, who's much better skaters. Then we're going to go get a Howitzer in this defensive pair here, one on each. Jacob Truba, team of the week, 84 overall, then the 86 Keith Yandel prime time. For the fourth line, we're going to go with Brock Besser. Get him up to 85 if you can, as high as you can get him to go to. Why not? Then Guy Carbono. I think this card is only about 22K on PlayStation, but he might be a little bit more on Xbox. I'm not sure what the price of him is. But he's a great fourth-line center whenever you're trying to build up a team because he does have 87 face-offs, not too expensive. Then we're going to get this Yu Sato, which is another guy that has a distributor, but he has a wicked hard wrist shot and slap shot. Pretty decent speed once you get the distributor on him. I think he's another great budget card. Should be about 20K or so. Then goaltending, we're going to go with Andre Vasilevsky. Then you can get any backup goaltender that has distributor. I just put Ben Bishop in here because Ben Bishop is another guy that a lot of people like. He might be pretty pricey, though, with the distributor. I haven't really looked at his price on the market recently. Then, of course, Coach, you're going to have to go Brian Fiddler to get that three distributor. Let's go and see what this all activates for your team. It's going to activate Howitzer, Speedster, and then Distributor. It's a pretty basic team, but it's definitely something you can build right now under 500,000 coins. Whatever extra coins you have... As I told you when we were talking in Discord, is just build up goal collectibles, icon collectibles by buying gold players. The way you guys do this to buy gold players is you want to set your buy now to 700 to 950 and then just keep hitting the triangle or the Y button, refreshing, picking up those guys at 950, 900. That's the best way to build gold and icon collectibles. If you don't just have the gold players from ripping open packs or whatever from doing your rivals and squad battles, 
I think this team will be pretty sufficient, especially with the guys you already have. Unfortunately, Tamu Solani's synergies aren't going to get activated for a while, neither would Peter Forsberg, but these are actually pretty good 87s. I would focus on the 85 and 86s now so that you can upgrade those to the silver versions of them. That's going to wrap up this team review. Let's move on to Big Dave. Big Dave's team is pretty unique here, and honestly, I will say that Whenever I do his team advice, it's more for the long term. It's not like a quick fix. I reworked everything to get him a second team synergy. He didn't want to have his guys more geared towards team synergies. As you can see now on his team, he has four player synergies and one team synergy. He has Howitzer, Speedster, Magician, and Thief, as well as a Distributor. Looking at his first line, he has Mario Lemieux, Pass Meets, Present on the left wing. He has Sean Couturier, Hut Fantasy Hockey Card, 86 overall. Then he has a 90 overall, Andre Svechnikov, his Winter National Christmas gift. Then he has Chris Chelios, bronze icon. And then team of the year, Victor Hedman. Big piece right here. Dude, zap loops. Monster. Then he took my advice, actually, here. I talked about this Oliver Borgstrand whenever I went over this team of the week and said, if you have the synergies activated with Distributor, he's going to be a nasty card. 96 speed, 97 agility. His acceleration is a little bit low at 89, but he has a really hard wrist shot as well with 94 wrist shot power, 87 wrist shot accuracy. The, the defensive and checking isn't the best, but he does have great hands as well. Can definitely be an offensive threat. He plays at 88.75 with just his player synergies and distributor. Then he has Jan Mysak coming in at center right here with the Thief. Another guy that's pretty good, very fast. Connor McDavid on the right wing, base card. Second defensive parries, Eric Carlson and Paul Coffey. For the third line, he has primetime Matthew Barzell, 86 overall. Shane Wright, another guy I highly recommend as a budget beast. Then 86 overall, Liam Foudy. Liam Foudy has pretty good attributes, but honestly, this card is just clogging up a spot in his lineup. Then Dougie Hamilton and Oliver Ekman Larson to round out the third defensive pair. The Dougie Hamilton is a dynamic duo, Volume 2. On the fourth line, he has Brock Besser, 85 overall, from Hut Fantasy Hockey Series. Then he has Dylan Larkins, 85 overall team of the week, the fill-out thief. Then he has Yu Sato that will give you the distributor magician filled out. His goaltenders are Holtby and Bobrovsky. Then he has Brian Fiddler. So down the middle, he actually has three guys with Thief, and then Paul Coffey has Thief as well. So that actually gives a guy like Dylan Larkin all the way up to 90 faceoffs. The Shane Wright, I think, gets up to 89 faceoffs, and then I think the Mysak's up to 90 faceoff rating. Yeah, so pretty interesting that he actually found three guys that have Thief up the middle that are budget guys. Then the Paul Coffey obviously gets a plus five stick checking, not going to worry about the faceoffs. Relatively decent team. Let's see what we can do to improve it. Big Dave's team will be on the right. The review will be on the left. Looking at this team, we have the same first line all the way around from the forwards to the defensemen. Lemieux, Couturier, Svechnikov, Chelios, Hedman. Can upgrade the Couturier if you want. Then on the second line, I recommend building the 80 overall hut icon pack. Essentially, there's only five cards that could possibly be. You get four options. Hopefully, you get the Guy Lafleur, absolute monster. I think he could be very important. If you don't get the Guy Lafleur, get Jean Beliveau, which can also be useful. Then I would pick up this Claude Giroux. He has one Swarm. He's actually a great face-off taker at center at 89. And I think he plays relatively above his attributes. I did really well with this car whenever I had him on my team. Also, pick up his other franchise great mate here in Taylor Hall to replace this Connor McDavid and Zion Mysak. The Taylor Hall is going to play pretty much like McDavid does. The price is going to be a little bit heftier. But what I will say about this Taylor Hall, you're looking at him, and the skating is pretty much McDavid skating because he has a little bit more endurance and more balance. The shot's better than McDavid's. The hands are actually slightly less on the puck control, but the hand eye is better. It's really the defensive awareness and the stick checking where he does a lot better and body checking. I still play with this Taylor Hall on my team, and I think he's an absolute monster, averaging over a point per game for me. Then you kind of talked about how you didn't like this Eric Carlson. I was trying to figure out how we could activate this shutdown for Victor Hedman because it does make him actually a little bit better if you're looking at it. Take off the other synergies. It gives him a little bit more puck control, body checking, and shot blocking, as well as slap shot accuracy, just to make the Hedman a little bit better than he already is. Looking at that, I would get the Vili Sarajavi. He has Swarm and Shutdown. Keep Paul Coffey in the second defensive pair. You're going to take Bjorkstrand, move him to the third line, take out Matthew Barzell, sell him, take out Shane Wright, take out Liam Foudy, replace that whole line as well as your defense. We're going to pick up Matt Sundin, Leas Pedersen, Kale McCarr, build this card. I recommended the last time I gave you a team review, just build this Kale McCarr, even if you only build him into like an 84. 
He'll definitely help your defense. He's fast. He also has shut down which works well with his Victor Hedman. Then Eric Randstrom, absolute monster. I think he plays way above his attributes, when, especially whenever you get him with Swarm. He skates really well. Him and McCarr will be a nice little pair together. Fourth line, we got Brock Besser. Build him up to 86 if you want, or you can keep him at the 85. It's really up to you. I would build the Besser and Sean Couturier as well as the Kale McCarr as much as you can. Pick up Bobby Clark. He has Howitzer and Swarm. I always hype him up as well as a Daryl Sittler. Get their bronze cards. Daryl Sittler's price should have dropped back down some. Once again, I know you play on Xbox. So I'm, it's hard for me sometimes because I can only see PlayStation prices. I don't have an Xbox. Well, that's a lie. I do have an Xbox One, but I don't have NHL 21 for it. So it's really hard for me to determine whenever I do some of these reviews for Xbox guys if I'm getting a good price range or maybe I'm like telling them to upgrade their team and they're like, dude, that dude's way overpriced compared to what he is on PlayStation. If that's the case, I apologize. Just keep messaging me in Discord. We can always talk it out. I'm more than happy with that. Looking at the goaltenders, we'll keep the Hopi there. If that's who you like as your starter. We're going to pick up Benjamin Gaudreau where there's another guy like Turboist or something like that, I think is his name. Herboist. Or Nicholas Hurtupis. They, they're pretty much the same guy, whichever one you can find for cheaper. You want to make sure that you find a backup goaltender that has the Tribune Swarm for this Bobrovsky. Fiddler is going to be the coach once again, as he is the coach for most, most builds and most teams. Looking at what we have here, we got Howitzer, Speedster, and Shutdown. And then we picked up Swarm. So pretty much you got rid of Thief and Magician, picked up Shutdown, and picked up Swarm which is pretty good. I think that Swarm really helps you out on this team, makes a lot more defensive. I understand that these changes are more long-term, but guys like Pedersen and Brandstrom, if they're not super expensive on Xbox, I think these guys are clutch, as well as the Giroux and Hall. I think they can really help your team out. Let me know what both of you guys think in the comments down below, and also message me on Discord if you have any more questions and a little more in-depth about it. Boys and girls, that's going to wrap up the team advice for Zeman Steele and Big Dave hopefully it helped them out to build their teams especially Zeman Steele who pretty much gave me a skeleton team to kind of build hopefully we stayed under that 500k budget that we that he gave me let me know what you guys think about this team advice do you guys have any other suggestions for them that maybe I didn't give them that you should say hey oh man that certain card really fits into maybe that hole that Big Dave had that would fit better than this card let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure Big Dave and Zeman Steele would obviously appreciate that as well. If you want to have your team reviewed by me and to get some team advice, you're going to have to either join the Discord that will be in the description and drop your URL on there, look at your team, I'll put you in the queue, or you're going to have to follow me on Twitter and then I'll direct message you to figure out how to get the link from you. For whatever reason, YouTube keeps blocking URLs. I know somebody earlier today actually tried to post their URL under YouTube while I was at work, so I'm hoping that it's still there whenever I go and check it later this evening to add them to the queue, but it's a lot easier if you guys just join Discord. Discord's the easiest. Twitter, if you don't have Discord, because I know some people just don't have Discord. As always, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with any of your buddies that play NHL 21, especially if they need team advice. They're always asking you for team advice. Well, just push them my way. I'll give them team advice if you're tired of doing it for them. You guys have a great day and be safe.